Lindsay C., Gibson, Adult Children of Emotionally Immature Parents, How to Heal from Difficult, Rejecting, or Self-Involved Parents. Do you ever feel overwhelmed with feelings of anger, betrayal, and loneliness when reflecting on your childhood? This summary of Adult Children of Emotionally Immature Parents by Lindsay C. Gibson will help you understand the root causes of these emotions and provide guidance on healing from difficult parental relationships. In this book, Gibson delves into the importance of emotional intimacy in human relationships, the characteristics of emotionally immature parents, as well as their impact on a child's development. By examining different types of parents and their conduct, you'll be able to recognize emotional immaturity and, ultimately, learn how to free yourself from it. Get ready to embark on a journey of self-discovery, healing, and emotional freedom. Healing Emotional Childhood Loneliness Reflecting on your childhood can bring up various emotions, especially if you had emotionally immature parents. Emotional intimacy is crucial for feeling acknowledged and genuinely connected to others. However, in the absence of this intimacy during childhood, loneliness, insecurity, and a weak sense of self can develop. Ignoring these feelings is detrimental, whereas accepting them can lead to improved connections and healing. Understanding the importance of emotional closeness throughout humanity's history illuminates its biological significance and the potential for personal growth and healing. Take a moment to ponder your childhood and the emotions that surface when reminiscing. If you had emotionally immature parents, it's likely that you still face feelings of anger, betrayal, and loneliness. You might even be uneasy or guilty about these sentiments. Emotional intimacy, the ability to disclose your innermost feelings confidently, is an essential aspect of human relationships that allows us to feel seen for who we truly are. Without this intimacy, both children and adults can endure profound loneliness. Growing up with limited emotional support can lead to feelings of isolation and neglect. These feelings can result in a lack of security and a weakened sense of self in adulthood. Such invisible wounds may be as painful as physical injuries. Often, people are unaware that these sensations of pain and loneliness actually hold positive potential, signaling a deep longing for emotional connection. This need for closeness with others has strong biological roots. Throughout history, humans have relied on group bonds and mutual support for survival. The sense of safety and connection provided by a community was especially vital for our ancestors. Embracing, rather than rejecting, these emotions can lead to stronger, more authentic connections with others. Identifying the source of emotional loneliness is the first step towards healing and self-discovery. By acknowledging this fundamental human need, we can understand our emotional experiences better and our desire for fulfilling emotional relationships. Spotting Emotionally Immature Parents Emotional immaturity in parents can be identified through patterns of behavior such as narcissism, insensitivity, and intolerance for emotional intimacy. Communication with such parents is challenging, and they often lack self-awareness and emotional investment in forming healthy relationships. They may resort to enmeshment, forming intense codependent connections, and seek to define their family members through specific roles that oversimplify complex issues. So, you've got a hunch that your parents might be emotionally immature, but how can you be certain? It's essential to recognize that everyone can falter under stress, resulting in emotional outbursts or impulsive actions. However, truly emotionally immature parents exhibit certain negative traits consistently, indicating a lack of aptitude in handling complex emotions. A common pattern among emotionally immature parents is unconscious behavior. They are often unaware of how their actions impact their children. These parents share a core personality profile characterized by narcissism, insensitivity, and limited tolerance for genuine emotional closeness. As a result, communication can be strained and feel nearly impossible, leaving you shut down and invalidated. One of the most draining features of emotionally immature parents is their reluctance to engage in the emotional work required for maintaining healthy relationships. They tend to have little self-confidence and always avoid admitting their mistakes or making amends. 
They crave attention for their needs while disregarding the needs of others. Instead of fostering true intimacy, these parents create enmeshment, an overly entwined, codependent relationship between them and their children. This dynamic can also lead to favoritism, where the favored child might also have low emotional maturity, resulting in mutual enmeshment. Emotionally immature parents often lack a firm sense of identity, demanding that their children conform to their harmful behaviors or roles they've assigned. They thrive on this role-based structure, enabling them to simplify complex situations and deal with them more easily. Being attentive to these character traits can help you identify whether your parents exhibit emotional immaturity and understand the effect it has on your relationships. Emotional Immaturity, Parent Types Emotionally immature parents can be categorized into four main types, the emotional parent, the driven parent, the passive parent, and the rejecting parent. Each type exhibits specific traits that negatively impact their children's lives, establishing an unstable emotional foundation. Understanding these behaviors helps better comprehend how these parenting styles affect children's emotional growth. Emotional parents tend to rule their households based on their own feelings, causing the family to tiptoe around them to avoid emotional outbursts. Their volatile nature creates an environment of uncertainty and fear. Driven parents, on the other hand, aim for perfection in every aspect of their lives. They prioritize having control over their children's lives while displaying little empathy. These parents often communicate a sense of never being good enough to their children. Passive parents take a hands-off approach to parenting, often avoiding anything that might upset them. They may take a backseat to a more dominant partner, sometimes leading to physical or emotional abuse. Although their lack of interference can appear less harmful, it nonetheless has negative repercussions on their children. Lastly, rejecting parents steer clear of any emotional intimacy and have little tolerance for others' needs. Their interactions often involve being angry, dominating, or isolating themselves, raising questions about their motivation for having children in the first place. All four types of emotionally immature parents undermine their children's sense of security through different behaviors. A common thread among them is the lack of emotional support and empathy provided to their children. This dearth of emotional security can have long-lasting, damaging effects that persist even into adulthood. It's crucial to recognize these parenting styles and how they shape children's emotional development in order to address their impacts effectively. Internalizers versus Externalizers Emotionally neglectful childhoods often lead to two distinct personality types, internalizers and externalizers. Externalizers act impulsively and seek support from others, whereas internalizers look for solutions within themselves and depend on their inner resources. Both types can benefit from finding balance and self-awareness to maintain healthier emotional relationships. Children of emotionally immature parents often create healing fantasies and adopt role selves to cope with their upbringing. As adults, recognizing these coping mechanisms and acknowledging their parents' emotional shortcomings can protect their individuality and emotions. Understanding the two types that stem from an emotionally neglectful upbringing, internalizers and externalizers, is essential for healing. Externalizers react quickly and display their emotions, acting impulsively as a distraction from their pain. Instead of self-reflection, they rely on others for support, often blaming them for their problems. Contrastingly, internalizers search for solutions within themselves, giving the impression of self-sufficiency. However, these individuals crave a deeper emotional connection with their parents due to their perceptive nature. Balance is crucial for both personality types. Externalizers must learn to find control within themselves, while internalizers should practice seeking help from others comfortably. Children of emotionally immature parents often develop healing fantasies that revolve around a brighter future where they receive love and care. Additionally, they may create a role self, a persona that ensures their place in the family. For instance, an inquisitive child may adopt a passive role to avoid conflict with their parent. These self-generated roles and fantasies serve as coping mechanisms during challenging childhoods. Nonetheless, they lead to disappointment in adulthood when maintaining those facades becomes untenable. 
In developing healthier relationships with emotionally immature parents, individuals must look beyond their childhood dreams and cultural beliefs, perceiving their parents from a more informed perspective. By recognizing emotional sabotage, they can safeguard their emotions and individuality, leading to enhanced emotional resilience in adulthood. Gaining Emotional Freedom Growing up, our parents are often seen as heroes, making it difficult to view them objectively. As we mature, we develop the ability to assess the care we receive from them. To gain emotional freedom, it's crucial to become observational instead of reactive. Approach interactions calmly and notice your parents' body language, tone, and their maturity. Apply the three-step maturity awareness approach, express yourself without worrying about their reaction, focus on the interaction rather than the relationship, and manage the conversation without engaging in emotional exhaustion. Ultimately, liberate yourself from the responsibility of fixing the relationship, as you can only control your reactions. As we mature, we learn to view our parents more objectively and evaluate the care they provided us throughout our lives. Gaining emotional freedom requires moving from a reactive mindset to an observational stance. Achieve this by approaching conversations with a calm demeanor and paying attention to your parents' responses. Observe their body language, tone, and whether they exhibit any emotionally immature behaviors. To effectively communicate with a difficult parent, use the three-step maturity awareness approach. First, clearly express your thoughts and feelings without trying to control their reaction. How they respond is beyond your control, what truly matters is that you express yourself genuinely. Second, concentrate on the interaction itself rather than the overall relationship. Set a specific goal for the conversation, such as calmly expressing your emotions without getting upset. Finally, learn to manage communication without engaging in emotionally draining situations. Interacting with emotionally immature people can be exhausting, so focus on steering the conversation and staying polite yet persistent. Understand that you may need to bring up the issue multiple times before receiving a satisfactory response. Ultimately, the key to gaining emotional freedom is letting go of the need to fix your relationship with your parent. Remember that you cannot control their behavior, only your reaction to it. Focus on developing healthy communication strategies and setting boundaries, allowing yourself to grow emotionally and maintain a sense of control over your well-being. Spotting Emotionally Mature People Adult children of emotionally immature parents might struggle to identify healthy relationships. To break free from this pattern, learn to recognize characteristics of emotionally mature individuals. Such people are realistic, reliable, self-aware, and capable of laughing at themselves. They are also flexible, even-tempered, and interested in your unique experiences. Building connections with emotionally mature people can lead to the fulfilling relationships you've always desired. Growing up with emotionally immature parents can leave a lasting impact on your perception of relationships, often due to an underlying fear of not being loved for your true self. To overcome these challenges, it is essential to rediscover your genuine identity and engage with your parents constructively. One crucial step in achieving this is to develop the skill of identifying emotionally mature individuals who can contribute to satisfying relationships outside your family. Recognizing an emotionally mature person might seem daunting at first, but there are key traits to look out for. Such individuals are realistic and reliable, focusing on practical solutions instead of dwelling on how things ought to be. Their strong self-awareness also means they remain consistent in their character and actions, unlikely to cause any unpleasant surprises. Emotionally mature individuals possess the ability to laugh at themselves without being easily offended. They acknowledge their imperfections and consequently, do not expect others to be flawless. When faced with the need to change, they are willing to self-reflect and take the necessary steps to improve their behavior. Other attributes of emotionally mature people include flexibility, even-tempered nature, and genuine curiosity in understanding your unique inner experience. They are also enjoyable to be around, possessing an overall positive energy that draws you in. When seeking new friendships or romantic relationships, it can be tempting to revert to old, harmful patterns developed in childhood. However, 
learning to recognize emotionally mature behaviors can pave the way for the healthy and gratifying relationships you've always yearned for. In conclusion, adult children of emotionally immature parents provides invaluable insights into the effects of a difficult childhood on our adult lives. The book enlightens us on the importance of emotional intimacy, the characteristics of emotionally immature parents, and different coping mechanisms adopted by their children. To gain emotional freedom, it's crucial to identify and understand your upbringing and learn to interact with emotionally immature parents, constructively rather than reactively. Embracing your true self will make it easier to form healthy, mutually satisfying relationships with like-minded individuals who exhibit emotional maturity. By gaining awareness and taking steps towards healing, you'll be able to reclaim your emotional well-being and find the fulfillment you truly deserve.